Hello, welcome to Spin Cooking. I'm your host, Johnny Carmelo. And tonight we have Dave Mack at the camera. And we're going to give him one more shot to operate the camera before we feed him and throw him out the door. <laughs> anyway, tonight we're making some zucchini. And we're a little bit ahead of the game. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and restart the game clock back to the 10 minutes that I always say I'm going to do it under. And I've only had these on for just a minute or so. So it's kind of no harm, no foul. we got some some zucchini that we marinated in a little bit of olive oil and butter. Not, excuse me, not butter. Olive oil and fresh garlic, okay? Fresh garlic, a little salt and pepper, not a whole lot. We got our zucchini squash on here. What I did earlier uh, yesterday was I made us some beautiful stuffed peppers. These are beautiful yellow peppers, and I stuffed them with zucchini that I put through my little device and it turns it into like spaghetti and I got portobello mushrooms on here and we cooked these for 30 minutes at 350 roasted them they're beautiful I took them out about 30 minutes ago just to kind of come to room temperature and we'll just those really will not get the they won't have to be heated up that much and it doesn't take long for this zucchini right here to, to get going it's a quick little process because basically all we're doing is want to get some grill marks. We could virtually eat this raw just the way it is. Dave brought us over some beautiful little New York strips. This is approximately a pound of meat. There's two of them here. So we're going to get about eight ounces. We're going to get about eight ounces each out of this. Uh, Dave already told me uh, he wanted his medium. I'm going to go medium rare. That's fine. So we're going to have a beautiful little dinner here. Very simple, and by the way, I want you to get a close-up on this. This is a Happy Days grill. This was my father's grill, God rest his soul. And this has been in our family for 30, 40 years at least. I've had it for 10, once I got it from my brother Joe. I rescued it from the cabin that he used to go hunting in. Uh, I remember one day, I don't know if I told you the story, but I was looking for that grill. And he says, oh, I got it up at the cabinet. And I said, Joe, bring her home. And he did. And he brought me this beautiful, and I've been the custodian ever since. I got Dave's steak on there because he wants his little bit cooked more than me. As the, right now, these vegetables are good to go. What do you think? Mm. They're good to go. I got a little bit of olive oil working on them, which is going to make some nice flavor along with the garlic. And this dish is really going to be super simple. But I want to tell you what I did with these steaks right here is I put a meat tenderizer on them, a little bit of meat tenderizer, and then I put this gunpowder flavoring on it. You can go online and research it. And this gunpowder is kind of like a charcoal base, and it's got some garlic in it and some other seasonings. But I just love what it does to a steak. It's just unbelievable. You're not going to find uh, this type of seasoning anywhere. It just really adds a good dimension to the steak. Smell it already? Actually, I should have gave you this little one here, Dave. I should have gave you the thin one. And you know something? I want the thin I'm one. I'm looking back. If I give you the thin I'd one... I'd rather have the thin one. Oh, you'd rather have the thin mm -hmm. one? Oh, wow. That worked out great. And the reason why is because this thick one's going to take a little bit longer. And now, we're probably going to be done about the same time. I'm going to put us about a minute and 30 on the... I'm going to put us about a minute 30 on the stuffed peppers. This is going to be like our one of our sides that we're going to have. And I'll tell you what, I was so wanting to cross this little gap that I was having with roasted peppers. As a kid, we had roasted peppers and onions with sausage, and I never quite embraced it as much. I started doing a lot of research on health and diet and nutrition, and I found myself hearing that um, peppers are really good for you, but I just have these childhood memories that I was never a big fan of them. So what I did was I started buying them again, and I felt that the green ones really didn't have the flavor as the red and the yellow. They're a little bit more money, but hey, that's okay. So I started cutting these in half, and I started stuffing them with 
the uh, zucchini. I started stuffing them with mushrooms. I started stuffing them with, I did one episode, I don't know if you've seen it yet, where I took, what do you call, um, Quaker, Quaker oat, they make a rice cakes, and I use that as one of the stuffings along with the, with the, um, some of the other ingredients I had, and I gotta tell you, it just turned out so great. I'm gonna throw our fan on here, you don't have to look when I'm doing this, but I'm gonna throw a little fan on here and get some going here. As you can see, look at this beautiful color, Dave, come on in here and take a peek at that. You see that color going? Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Oh yeah. Delicious. Oh, look at that. Look at that, Dave. Mm. Look at that. Them are smoking, brother. It smells delicious. What if you get a little piece of that, man? That's nothing but love there, brother. That's just some love. Johnny loves kitchen of love. I'm telling you. How much I got five minutes left on the game clock. I can do this, Dave. You know, one of the hardest things about steaks is I was a big, uh, a big outdoor fan when it comes to grilling and stuff. Um, and I found that sometimes, you know, you can't always get out to the grill because of one thing or another. And having a little griddle like this in the house really kind of takes you back to that, that those flavors that we kind of grew up with. Because, you know, there's the charcoal people and there's the gas people. My father was in the gas business, so we always had a gas grill. I, we never cooked with charcoal. And I tell you, in my whole life, I've probably cooked with charcoal, I'm gonna say five times, just for the sake of argument. Always cooked on gas, always cooked on a gas grill. But I also found that sometimes you, uh, for one reason or another, you don't have access to the grill or you're out of propane or whatever the deal is. So this is the next best thing. This gives it a lot of good depth flavor, this searing, if you will, and just adds so much flavor. You know, you have to just love it. And look at these guys here, Dave. They are just, they are really coming around. I still see that they're, they got some firmness to them, and that's okay. This is not gonna take long. I am just, I still got three minutes on the clock. I'm happy with that. Oh God, it's smelling so good. So we got a beautiful little meal here tonight, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Real simple. We got a nice little beautiful sirloin steak. We got some grilled zucchini, and we're gonna have some stuffed yellow bell peppers. Just nice, and pretty much everything that we're gonna eat here is clean. In a perfect world, would it be nice if these were grain-fed beef, which is the way I'm trying to navigate to. It's kind of hard to find it in most of the local stores, but it's coming around. You know, the whole movement's coming around, so we're going to get there. People are waking up. Yeah, you know, everybody's everybody's trying to be more conscious, and I'm going to go this way. Watch this. I'm going to do a little flip-flop so we can get some grill marks for the last few minutes, but i got to tell you, I can tell you that these guys, these guys are pert near done. That's mine. I can do that. And you know how to check the doneness. If you take your finger, I'll show you this way. If you take your finger and go this way, then this is like medium rare. This is medium. This is medium. This is medium well. And this is well just by doing this. So the worst thing on earth you ever want to do is cut open a steak to see how it's doing. You agree? Have you ever heard that? Don't ever do that. Why would, why would you want to do that? Well, when you cut the steak, you uh, let all the juices out. And I, and I learned this after years of doing this, that it's real important to let the steak rest for a few minutes before you cut it so the juices can go back together. It's so hard to do that. It's because, it's, you, you know, you take it off the grill. It's hot. I love a nice hot steak. So <laughs> it's difficult to do that. Dave, I think we're done here, brother. Let me go ahead and plate this guy up. I guarantee those are beautiful. Mm. I got me a shot. There's Dave. Good Lord, look at that, brother. Mm. I'm gonna take that guy off. I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna put you right there. I'm gonna put me right there. 
Now, I'm gonna have me some. I got a little bit of this left, but you can't tell anybody. This is the <laughs> last of my sister-in-law's. She works for a, a gal that makes her own Worcestershire sauce. This is the end of it. And my mom's got a bottle for me waiting in St. Petersburg the next time I go home. A bottle for Father's Day. But Dave, I'm going to give you a little shot of that too, brother. Mm. I want you to get a little shot of that goodness there. Hey, look at that. Give me a look at it. I told you, 10 minutes or less. Well, listen, we're going to be digging in this here in a minute. we like to thank you all. Let me shut this guy off. Really? We'd like to thank you all for joining us tonight here at Spin Cooking. And we're so happy that Dave Mack got to come by and, and uh, work camera for us and enjoy this nice meal with us. So once again, this is Johnny Carmelo with Spin Cooking saying, please try this at home. All right.